This is ITTV. A lot of products are unveiled at the Consumer Electronics Show every January. Well, we're starting to see several of them in stores now. But which ones should you be paying attention to? Up next, Rob Almanza is joined by a special guest who always brings lots of tech goodies. Rob? Thanks, Dave. This is actually a camera mask. It's a ski mask disguised as a camera, or the other way around, something like that. It's by a company called Liquid Image. We've talked a lot about it on the show before, and in fact, this is one of the segments that we look forward to most every year, because right now, I'm winning, duh, because I'm surrounded by all these consumer electronics gadgets with me, and we're joined by Jim Barry. How are you doing, sir? I'm very good. Nice Welcome. to see you again, You Rob. too. Do you like yeah. my mask? Those are very cool. That was a big hit at the Consumer Electronics Show. As you know, they have these for skiing, as well as for motocross. It has a high definition, 720p. Right. Um, camera built in and they've got a couple of models about three or four hundred dollars or so but uh, remember it's got an HD camera great if you're a skier you come down from the slopes you can just plug that in or take a little mini card out of it and see everybody will see just what you saw on the way down that's true now this is something we can't use here in South Florida right. obviously right. but people out in, around Utah or so can sure use or this. you could use it for motocross too oh. though so you could use that here they have a motocross model as well so there's sure. got a lot of different models uh, one of the other neat things at the show we've talked about before were tablets galore. Oh gosh. Uh, responding to the <laughs> iPad from last year. I brought a couple along here. Samsung Galaxy Tab. That one came out just before the holidays and it has the camera built in front and back. Android operating system, lots of apps, 7 inch screen. That's been a big hit. And yes. then this one is really neat. This is from ViewSonic. It's called the ViewPad. They've got a couple of models. This is the 10 inch, but they also have a 7 inch model of this. This one uses both Android and Windows 7. So it gives you the choice of the two operating systems. As we know, there were something like 80 different uh, tablets introduced oh, around the show. So we're going to see, this is going to be the year of competition for tab touchscreen tablet computers. Yeah, good point. Many said that the year 2010 or 2010 was for the iPad, and now we have many more tablets that are competing directly with it and offer more than just an iOS uh, platform. Because exactly. here, like you said, you have Windows 7. So you have and you, and you have Android, yeah. So you're going to see, and Android, as we know, is giving both BlackBerry and iPhone a run for their money in the smartphone market, and it's going to be really interesting. We have the new Zoom from Motorola right. that uses the 3.0, the honeycomb version of Android. So it's going to be an exciting year and a lot of competition and for the, that. And the pricing, too. They're getting more competitive with well, it. Well, that's the thing, yeah. You're going to have a lot more price points, so you'll have a lot more choices. The iPad has already dropped the original one down by 100 yeah. bucks as they introduced the new one. The other thing, if you're really price sensitive and you just want to read books, which you can read on touchscreen tablets, you can also read them on the ebook readers. This is the Kindle 3G. I like this one. Uh, I like the cover with this too that also has a light built in. Mm -hmm. And these start at 139 bucks now. And right. there are a lot of other ones like this Pocket Pro e-reader. There's a lot of different companies getting into it. Uh, the Pocket Book Pro. Uh, and this one starts at 129 bucks or less. So the prices are way down uh, on those. And they use that e-ink and e-paper. Very good out in the bright sunlight. Right. Not so much with your um, backlit LCDs of touchscreen tablets. Now, how do you feel about reading on a dedicated ebook reader than on a tablet where you can do more than just reading? Well, again, it depends on what you want to do. And if you just want to read I th and you're on a budget, the ebook readers give you a terrific selection there. If you want color, magazines, newspapers, then you're going to want one of these touchscreen tablets like the Nook from Barnes & Noble right. or the iPad or the Androids, the Samsung Galaxy, all the other choices. Here's a really cool device that was introduced oh, at the show too. This is from Cobra. This is the iRadar. So this is a radar detector That's that synchronizes cool. with your iPhone. Gives you this little dashboard and then you use that to both find radar. This is for safety. You want to make sure you're safe and you don't want to get tickets while speeding <laughs> or from red light cameras. This is going to help you with all of that. It's kind of like an app with a little piece of hardware for about a hundred yeah. bucks or so. I like it. It's Very cool. pretty sleek too. Yeah. Really, you guys can really see nice. It there. And a lot of folks know Cobra from their radar detectors and lots of other devices over the years. Here's a cool little thing a lot of people in South Florida would like. This is the new RCA portable digital television. It uses an LED screen, and it's, which is very thin, but it's thick because it 
The other great thing about this works on double A batteries. So four double A batteries. A lot of people have been missing their hurricane TV in this part of the world for the last uh, couple of years yeah, since have. the DTV conversion. Here's one for less than a hundred bucks from RCA. So again, you know, you used to be able to get the analog hurricane TVs for 50 bucks or less. Now we're starting to get down into that price range with Very in true. the digital realm. So um, that's pretty cool. You also have some gaming stuff here, obviously well, the Connect. The Connect. And I brought that along because this is remarkable technology. It we know we changed the game with the controller, the move from Sony. Now the Connect, you become the controller. This is a sensor that's video, sound, and motion. And the other th and remarkable thing about that, in my mind, for $150, if you already have the Xbox 360, that is unbelievable technology, and that is just a peek at the future, this gesture technology right. we're gonna see in a lot more than video games. And rumors say that eventually you might see this on computers, some Windows PCs that may integrate with that technology. Well, so. we already saw it on televisions, gesture technology at the show for being able to change the volume and turn on yeah. and off and change the channels, so you won't have a touch screen, you'll have a no touch screen. Right, excellent, I mean, this is great stuff. I. I think I want to snag some for a little bit, but okay. I, I know I'm going to have to pry it away from your hands. This is one of those stops where I know I have to search <laughs> everybody before I leave. That's very true. Well, if you guys want to learn more about all of this cool stuff that Jim talked about, visit intotomorrow.com, where you can also listen to an extended radio interview with Jim Barry and Dave Graveline. Meantime, back to you, Dave. Thanks, Rob. That eye radar looks very cool. I think I'll have to snag one for our trip to Orlando this week. It's always great to have Jim stop by with lots of goodies to share with you. If you want more info on the products they discussed, please visit intotomorrow.com. And Jim Barry also spends a couple of segments with me on our radio show this week. You'll want to hear that too. 